Do you remember that six-member girl group that Tricell Media debuted back in the day? Well, let me refresh your memory. Their name was Hello Venus. Hello, Venus. Hello, Venus. Hello, Venus. Brave sound, drop that sh- Hello, Promoting between the years of 2012 to 2019, Hello Venus had some pretty iconic moments before they disappeared one day due to disbandment. So what happened to them? Well, let's talk about it. Lime, Alice, Nada, Yunjo, Yuara, and Yu Young, and previous soloist Nicole were supposed to debut together but Nicole decided to leave the group before their official debut. So the ladies ended up debuting on May 9th, 2012 with a mini album and matching title track called Venus. <laughs> This was an amazing debut. I mean, look how young and cute they were back then. Uh, This song was so good, and I still listen to it a lot today. It just gives me such nostalgic vibes. It's just a really, really good song, a feel-good song. My favorite part is at the bridge when Lime goes up and like down like three straight octaves she was so boss i wish she had been given more opportunities throughout their career to like sing like that instead of like being reduced to mainly like rapping because like her vocals are phenomenal not to say she was just only a rapper because she can rap but like i wish i could have just heard her sing like that all the time yun jo was um only able to promote in non-dancing parts of the video and the song um and like during promotions for this debut due to an injury that she had that she was healing from at the time but yeah this was a really really good song and i loved it now on december 12 2012 the ladies came back with another ep and matching title track called what are you doing today Now, they looked so adorable in this video, too. I I just don't know what it is about them, but everything they did back then was just so cute to me. As much as I liked the video, the actual song wasn't all that great. It just sounded very generic to me and was just not entertaining at all. But the album peaked at number 93 on the charts, um, and it only sold under 1K copies, so... I guess I wasn't the only one who thought that. But on May 13, 2013, Hello Venus came back with another EP and matched title track called Would You Stay for Tea? is one of my favorite songs of theirs it's just composed so well in my opinion i love how sweet and girlfriend next door they are in this video and the song itself is still one that i listen to very often everything was on point the vocals the outfits the hair the makeup the dance i just like i said i love this comeback it's just such an easy listen it sounds so good i highly suggest you check it out if you haven't already this album did way better than their previous projects seeing as it peaked at number six on the charts and it sold over 10 
2.2k copies they were definitely starting to climb up the ranks after this one and people were really starting to recognize like hey hello venus is somebody that we should start listening to so on july 31st 2014 we would get a lineup change within hello venus although the ladies debuted under tri cell media um Pletus and Fantasio Entertainment had a hand in the entire process as well, which, you know, the three agencies called the Hello Venus Project. Certain members came from the different companies and will be returning to focus on their own paths. Yuada and Yoon Jo went back to Pletus Entertainment to focus on their acting and music careers. And then the remaining members, Lime, Nada, Yu Young, and Alice, would be under Fantasio Entertainment moving forward as Hello Venus. Now, on October 22nd, 2014, Fantasio Entertainment announced the addition of two members to the lineup of Hello Venus by the names of Yoram and So Young to replace the other two ha- who had went back um, to Pletus. Then, on November 6th, 2014, the ladies gave us a comeback with the single Sticky Sticky. <laughs> Now, this is another favorite of mine because it's a totally different concept from what they've been doing with their previous projects. This is a super sexy song with an eye-catching dance to match, obviously. I love this video and the outfit choices as well. Like, this whole comeback was just pieced together so well. The song is super, super good, too. It's really chill, and it's just pleasing to listen to. Apparently, the public agreed because the single peaked at number six on the charts, and it sold over 7.4K copies. So the ladies were definitely garnering a lot of attention with this new, bold look. On January 8th, 2015, Hello Venus gave us a single album comeback with Wiggle Wiggle. Now, this is, again, another great comeback. I mean, the ladies continue to show us their provocative colors, but they look so good while doing so. Again, the outfit choices in this video were very, very good. The song is pretty decent, too. In my opinion, it's not as good as Sticky Sticky, but it's still one of my favorite songs nonetheless. And I, st- I do still listen to it a lot. And let's just take a moment to commend the ladies and their knees for their twerking abilities during the chorus because they really put in work here. It's just so funny to me that content like this is considered mature and it's rated 19 plus over in like South Korea. But in America, stuff like this is the norm all over the place. I don't know. But the single peaked at number eight and it sold over 35.3K copies. So everybody loves this. On July 22nd, 2015, the ladies gave us a mini album with a matching title track called I'm Ill. This is such a fun party song that still flaunts the ladies' sexy charms. I really love this song, and I feel like these types of songs with their last projects, it just really suited Hello Venus well. They wear these colors so good. Um, You know, they did the Agio stuff really good too, but songs like I'm Ill just sound so much better in my opinion. I really like the way... They switched up the rapping and like, you know, the beat was really good. The dance was pretty decent enough, too. And their outfits are just so cute. This whole comeback was a 10 out of 10. Also, Chameleon and What You Talking About 
are like the, on the, the b-side tracks they're definitely worth a listen if you haven't checked them out this is a really good album um and speaking of the album they did pretty good it peaked at number seven on the charts and it sold over 4.3k copies so in 2016 fantasio announced that the ladies would be collaborating with a writing and producing team called divine channel on three on like three projects so the first project was on may 5th 2016 um and the single was called glow slower more chill song which is a nice change of pace actually I, I still wasn't a fan of this song however but i do appreciate that this comeback focuses on hello venus's vocals the ladies actually have beautiful voices and this song really lets that shine through so definitely check it out if you haven't the video is chill and it's actually very pleasing to watch the single peaked at number 210 on the charts though but it sold over 10.1k copies so the second project came on July 18, 2016 as the single Paradise. Now, this is a more fun and upbeat song, um, which is just in time for the summer vibes at the time. I wasn't into this song either. It just felt like a little off to me once I heard the chorus. I did like the video, though. And the ladies looked really happy and bright and beautiful as they frolicked on the beach. The song peaked at number 266 on the charts, and it sold 8K copies. I don't know what's going on with these songs, but people just weren't feeling it like me, I guess. So the last project was released digitally, so it didn't get a video, but you can still check it out and let me know what you think. It was released on November 1st, 2016, and it is called Runway. <laughs> Out of all of the three of these singles in the projects, this one sounded the best, hands down. I'm actually annoyed that this is the one that didn't receive a video because it's the only one that I actually did like. But on January 11, 2017, we would get our final project from Hello Venus with the mini album Mystery of Venus and the title track Mysterious. <laughs> wanted to like this song so much even back then and then now sometimes i realize a song that i didn't like back then and then i do a video on it now and it just grows on me because i'm like oh this was really good i don't know what the old me was thinking but i just don't know why i cannot get into this song i think it just sounds a bit too mediocre for me but the video is awesome to watch mainly because the ladies are beautiful and their outfits look amazing as usual the dance to this song is actually pretty decent too they're just such amazing entertainers all the way around the board i just was not in love with this song but the album peaked at number 12 on the charts and it sold a little over 3k copies now two years will go by before we got an official statement from fantasio entertainment in regards to hello venus's disbandment and it reads hello this is fantasio music first of all we express sincere gratitude to the fans who have cherished and loved the group hello venus for a long time the exclusive contracts of some members of hello venus alice nada lime you young so, so young and yurum with fantasio music will expire on may 8th 2019 
after much discussion with the members about Hello Venus's future activities, we came to the agreement to show support for each other and each individual's desired activities in various areas for the futures of the members. Although the Hello Venus members still have a special relationship, we would like to cheer them on for each other's individual paths. So Young and Yoram, who joined as Hello Venus members in 2014, will continue activities under our agency, and we are positively discussing with you, Young and Lime, about contract renewals. Lastly, Alice and Nada made final decisions decisions to leave on a positive note to chase their new dreams and we have decided to respect those decisions we express our gratitude to the six members of artist hello venus who have always shown their best from their debut until now in addition we will cheer on and support the desired individual paths of each of the members and we will do our best to help so that they can grow in the future we express our sincere gratitude to the many fans who have sent constant love and support to hello venus over the past seven years and we ask for your warm interest and support for the members who are awaiting new beginnings thank you so, during their time promoting, Hello Venus released five EPs, one single album, and 11 singles. They were nominated for three awards, and they won two. And, you know, that's pretty much it for Hello Venus, you all. While researching for this video, I came to an assumption or a theory that when these companies want to shelf their girl groups, they just let them go idle, even if it's for years until their exclusive contracts end. And it's up to the members to either fight for their freedom sooner or just ride the time out like a jail sentence. And I feel like that's kind of what happened with Hello Venus. They were just like, oh, you know, we're just going to be quiet, do our little things, do our little solo activities or whatever and just wait till it's time to move on i feel like you know the group just you know did as much as they could and the company did as much as they could with them and they were just like yeah we're just gonna let you guys go um but yeah that's just my take on it let me know what you guys think and also let me know your your thoughts on hello venus in general until the next video i'll see you around